What's up, people? This is Toby from the Toby and Davy channel, aka Cushing. If this is your first time here. Check out everything we do. We got a podcast called Drinking a Joint. We got flashback flicks where we review movies, and Davy does a dead tutorial called Play Dead. Check out everything we do, and this is Loose Beats, where we chill out and make a beat. You know, we take the easy approach. You ain't gotta have shit mixed, right? You don't have to have a master. We're just gonna listen to it as is and work through it together, you know? So, this is a little older one. Um, first, we got our melodies here. We got these Crossroad Bells, which uh, was pulled from our Logic Packs over here. Uh, just keeping it simple. And let's go ahead and hear how our melody sounds. Yeah, just starting off with a real nice sample to get us going on this one. And next we got, uh, basically that's our setup melody there. And we got these deep, uh, dark monster noises in the background here. Um, I'll even bump them just so you can actually hear what the what it's doing back there. It just uh, what's it three point five? We'll go back to that. If you can hear that, just our yeah, just straight monster noises back there. But I have them so quiet because it was just kind of taking up a lot of space in the mix. So just have those pulled back. But it just gives us something to kind of almost hear and wonder if you heard, you know. So we got those in our melody set up. It's more of a thing like it's there to give it a little room and something you kind of have to listen in closely to even hear. But in the end, you know, might bump them, might not. But let's see, we got uh, a fizz lead that comes in here, a synth. We can pop over that. Which is just a nice little building, kind of a riser synth, you know. <laughs> Just something to give it a little hype feel to it, you know? And so I've got this lead over the fizz, kind of doing the same thing. Just a little quieter, but to give it a little more clarity, not so much of that festival lead sound, you know? I just like that build up, it's real boppy. <laughs> so we got our melody all set up here. Um, we can hear how that moves into each other. That's where they come in handy. You can pull them up uh, during your hooks and your drops a little more, you know. Get that monster tone going. Start off early <coughs> with a dab, <coughs> getting the mood. So, our beat is pretty dense here, just because I split everything up. And so, our melody you can hear is just some hype uh, synths with some bells. And down to our beat, <coughs> bringing these hats 
and uh, I doubled up the hats and I just used two different sounds uh, so I got this VDMF I'm not sure where I pulled that one from honestly and then I got the tasty 808 so really what I did was put this one just a little further in the background it's a more tinny kind of synth you know you can see our MIDI and all our chops down here then lead into the long jump the volume a little bit just because that's where all the instruments come in right there so on this other one uh, just laid it up just a different tighter kind of sounding I had so I could double up the noise <clears throat> but keeping them on the same pattern just really just doubled up for tone much more electronic sounding hat on that one uh, let me bring in a snare from our ultra beat laid out real simply a big layer open hi-hat on this one that's not even our snare yet is it yeah this is all just leading up yeah just a kind of actual kit sounding hi-hat it's open just to give it something something else to do it's not bored and then so we got our triple hi-hat set up a couple variations and some breaks but that's basically the method down here the way I chopped them up and uh, let's see now we're probably bringing in our snare yeah So on our snare tone, carry that over a little bit past our hi-hats just to keep it breathing. And our tone over here was, let's see, an SP-12. And again, I mean, I've been expanding out into packs, but for these videos especially, I just try to use everything in Logic, make it as simple as possible. and just to show how easy it can be to use the standard setup that they give you. <sighs> Getting loose. So, after our, our bringing our snare in, our open hat, I think I may have a, this is our snare that's laid under it, doing a lot of our work. So, this other one, as you saw in the Ultra Beat, was just laid out to specific hits, uh, changed a couple times throughout the song, but really just getting our hard hits with that tone. And then I got this tone coming in. <coughs> another another 808 uh, snare drum. And I'm having it do all of our robotic lead ups and chops, you know, to give it a little different tone from the original, uh, original snare that it's hitting. Uh, so you can kind of tell the difference and see how that sounds You see how it throws it a little bit it doesn't sound like it's just uh, The same uh, Snare being used and I like mixing up these tonalities doubling them up uh, Having one do one job and the other one do another It just uh, kind of spreads out your tone a little bit Some of the best producers I hear just barely use a track for a movement or two, you know? Like, they set up one arrangement, and it'll just have uh, every piece of it layered to a different tone to give it a real wide sound. But, <clears throat> so let's see, after uh, our snare and our backup snares doing all the work, we got our, this is our kick right here. Another ultra beat sample, another 808, the second bass drum. Again, about these, if if you don't use ultra beat often, you set them out, you can just hit your sequences, and then right here at the bottom of pattern, 
you just pull and drag that and set it wherever you want. And then you can make another one, a variation of it, and pull that one next to it, join them, and then bounce them out after that. But So I got this kick. Starts back a little bit. Boring. Back up. Simple shit, you know. Not really doing too much, but taking up a little bit of that space. Pulled up a little higher. Probably needs a little more compression. But you can hear how it's a very nice little choppy beat. Like that backup snare with that's a little more uh, electronic sounding really gives it the sound I like. And then we got a real simple 808 lined up here. Um, just another, yeah, that one's just the 808, uh, bass drum. Real simple again, like, I'll probably use, uh, some of those new packed 808s, because that's the only thing I've been really struggling with using Logic shit on, is, like, I still want to drag people's different 808s that they come up with. Like, everything else seems usable if you EQ it, but <coughs> a lot of these 808s are just boring on here. And it's like a little more gritty 808, you know. But for now, this one holds our place and shows where everything should be. Yeah, a little stuttery at the end. But so we got our uh, beat set up here. A nice little stutter beat. We got our bells and our hypey. Lee's up here, hyphy hyphy shit, and so we got some vocals lined up, and uh, we can jump right into that. So this is a uh, old setting rack I got up here. So uh, kind of laid out everything a little bit differently. I have uh, probably two sample delays, or a stereo delay, sample delay, a uh, phaser and a space designer reverb, but this isn't the way that I put my vocals in anymore, but I do wanna go through a few ones from months ago, even maybe a year ago, and just show you the different approaches too, because when I listen back on a lot of these, I mean, half of them are just fucked, but the other half are close enough to where it's almost like a different tone. It's almost, you could use it for a different genre, the approach of the way the uh, lyrics were, or the vocals were engineered. And so I have these set up in a, a lineup that I do not use in these plugins anymore. But uh, just for the sake of argument, I'm gonna leave it like it is to show you different ways you can pull up on a sound, you know? So let's uh, step into the lyrics here. Um, we got our, oh, see, that was probably our, yeah, that was our ad libs back there. Um, I would say, hold up. I'm all about to check. Yeah, so these were ad libs, which that makes a lot more sense of why I was spreading these phasers out and setting up a little different, but. This is our actual vocal, again, on this old run that I used to do. But this one's probably just a delay, sample delay, and I threw a ring shift on it. I don't know why I'm using these phasers on this track, but it seemed to come out all right, at least for the time. So let's first off just hear uh, that regular vocal. I'm all about to chase, but like to keep my feet up. Okay, so. And you can see, I mean, compared to the way I'm running through now, it's like the way I'm running through now is a lot more like your voice, you know, it sounds a lot more closer to how, you know, 
closer to how you actually sound. But I don't know. This this run, the way I've got them set up here, I got the auto-tune way down a lot. I got it below an EQ and everything. And uh, it, com and it comes out pretty good for the style I'm shooting for. You know, so it's kind of a, a trial and error process because I've been told by multiple people never to do this, never to do that, and they all speak against each other. And so it's really just something you got to figure out, especially if you're working with a single voice. You know, you just really got to fuck with their frequencies. And for different songs, man, this proves that, like, to me, I mean, this still needs to be tweaked, mixed, and mastered, but to me this proves that there is no standard way to approach uh, for any one song or any one person, but that's obviously disputable. And so here I got our ad libs. You can uh, hear them. Actually, just just to show you my tone. I come in. It could be a topic, very phased. I'm using a lot of phaser. I normally throw a lot of distortion on them uh, to make them stand out. And they are a little high, but I don't know. For some reason, I wanted that phaser uh, maybe to match this ring shift up here. Kind of like it. So I'll show you that with the beat. And fuck that one. Don't remember what that one was. Yeah. See that little, but not so separated. Keep my feet up. Go on the plate, your back of Fina pulling shades. Yo, y'all was turning it up. I know I get cold, but I'm freeze up under pressure. Live for pleasure, never last, so you can measure every person. Under the weather, don't get better, probably cause you're only working at your leather. Getting older, but still living and living like I'm gonna live forever. Yeah, next semester, the professor. Should just sit down for the lecture Yeah, don't flip up, I got some pressers And the ass was run a lick to make a hit And sing it to you on the stretcher My kick a bitch a necklace with no pressure Don't get weird, it's just a gesture I can tell that you've been mapping your life out They found a treasure See the guy, you don't deserve it Yeah, so A little busy, the way I've got these mixed in So, you know, that phase I do have them, uh, st you know, separated in the stereo But there's still something, a little isolation needed with that, and that may be where uh, some compression and some distortion might be missing in this ad lib verse, so ad lib track. So we got an effect down here, and we got a couple ending. I, I changed my ad libs down there, but. You should know your place. Yeah, you should know your Just some demon shit hidden in the back I've got it ran through uh, I was pretty natural it looks like I've got it ran through a heavy ring shifter um, sample delay and the space designer I mean that honestly sounded like some borderline uh, vocal sense shit I thought I might have used that but just took a more natural approach for uh, just to kind of uh, really make those that section st stand out a little bit. So, all right. So let's hear it. We got the lyrics up here. If you like to read, and let's see how our beat sounds now with all of our elements. Still peaking heavy on those, but. All about the chase. I like to keep my feet up. Go on the plate, your back of Fina pulling shades. Yo, y'all was turning it up. I know I get cold, but I don't freeze up under pressure. Live for pleasure, never last, so you can measure every person under the weather. Don't get better, probably cause you're only working at your leisure. Getting older, but still living and living like I'm gonna live forever. Yeah, next semester, the professor. You should just sit down for the lecture, yeah, don't flip up, I got suppressors And the ass who's on a lick to make a hit and sing it to you on the stretcher Might kick a bitch a necklace with no pressure, don't get weird, it's just a gesture I can tell that you've been mapping your life out, they found a treasure 
See the guy you don't deserve it Make me laugh more like a jester Take a sip right from my goblet I'll knock you unconscious with my scepter You should know your place Yeah, you should know your yeah. Coming back to trip wide away They falling for it Charlie been that like the Barana stories Got a fake fast point Still we up and fun Got a broke tip of hugging Still we got the fun This is just what you do on the weekends But for me it's my nutrition yeah, pretty simple little track there, and I love the track. It does get a little busy through a few parts. Uh, this uh, synth comes in a little heavy. I have to go automate that, and I do want to make some more videos about like mixing more in depth and you know next level after this and even things leading up to this but i just want to show you guys this song appreciate y'all being here and you know if you like anything you hear check out cushing uh if you like anything you see check out our channel and this has been loose beats love y'all <laughs>